What the? F <coughs> Wait, you ain't even seen the head yet. That is not an alligator. <laughs>What's up, y'all? I'm Timothy De La Ghetto, and this is Acquired Taste. I'm on a mission to expand my horizons by trying all types of interesting food from different cultures and sharing them with my homies. Cheers. 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 So good. These are good. Because you know, there's no better way to explore different cultures than through their food. Today we're in Chicago, but it's not for deep dish. Today we're going to be having some whole smoked alligator. Eating smoked alligator is a bayou tradition. People in southern states like Florida, Louisiana, and Mississippi have been chomping on it for generations. But there's been a recent spike in popularity because many people consider it a healthy alternative to red meat. If you're from the north and you've never heard of eating alligator, that's because it's a super regional tradition. And it's pretty uncommon to find it outside of areas where gators are found. It's often served as gumbo, fried, or as ribs, but today we're gonna be eating it whole and smoked. We're here at Frontier, which is a restaurant known for its whole smoked animals. Today I'll be joined by my homegirl, Leah Van Dale, AKA Carmella, who is a WWE superstar. So hopefully she doesn't hit me with a clothesline or a leg drop. Let's do it. How's it going? Hey, what's happening with you? What's up, sir? How you doing? Good to meet you. Tim, nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, we got a whole alligator. I see that. I feel yeah. like I'm on Naked and Afraid right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? So yeah, at Frontier we do a, a bunch of different whole animals, but mm -hmm. uh, the alligator has uh, began to really gain a lot of popularity. So how does one become like an alligator cooking expert? Did you grow up eating it or? I'm from New Orleans. You're from New Orleans? Yeah, okay, and, uh, okay. So, so this is like a common thing in New Orleans? Yeah, I mean, down in the, in the, in the Gulf states in general, you know. One thing people don't know, it's very lean. You know, mm. and so cooking it is not necessarily the easiest thing either and having it actually oh, taste good. Oh, I see, I see. So one thing that we tried to do over the years at Frontier is showcase different parts of the alligator. So we've had the alligator legs and we've had the alligator ribs and things like that that we've run, but preparing them in ways that people would wouldn't freak out about, you know, so. <laughs> you're telling me you're trying to do it in a way that people won't freak out, but you got his gloves on, hey, and you hey. got the head here chilling. Well, that's for identification. Otherwise, <laughs> it, would, it, it would just look like a, I don't know, some, a, a fish, fish with some legs. Yeah. Do you have any, like, specific food memories that maybe shaped how you cook or what you cook now? I mean, growing up in Louisiana gives you a different outlook on food in general because everything's so different down here. Mm -hmm. You know, you have so much influence from so many different cultures that's built into what makes New Orleans food what it is. Right. And so, yeah, that was always a part of what I did, you know, and I grew up cooking with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. I grew up cooking in restaurants in New Orleans, but it was never at the forefront of like my style per se. Mm -hmm. I wasn't only a, a Cajun and Creole cooking chef, right? but it, it made me know how to season my food. Oh, okay, yeah, I you bet, know? I and, bet. Know, yeah. So it made me cook with flavor, mm -hmm. for sure. All right, so I'm excited to try this out. How do you prepare it? What's going on? So, a little bit of oil first, mm -hmm. and that's just to help the, the seasoning uh, stick to the meat itself. All right, and so in this mixture we have like some Cajun spices mm -hmm. and paprika and garlic and oregano. Actually has a little bit of sugar, some lemon zest. We want to be pretty liberal with the seasoning because alligator is a pretty much a, a blank canvas, so it doesn't really have a, a strong flavor. What you apply to it is what you're gonna get back from it. What would you um, compare it to in terms of like another type of meat? So the legs are very much like chicken wings. Okay. Like I can cook them down and you'll, you'll be like, okay, that, I could tell you it's a chicken wing. But the tail pieces are more like a, a pork loin almost. Oh, do tail. <laughs> <laughs> do tail. Some chicken thighs. Wow. We uh, smoked in the smoker. I like to put that stuffed chicken right into the cavity here. Oh my God. Just in case somebody's a little freaked out, we got some chicken <laughs> in that <laughs> He's like, just <laughs> cut, cut that open and get you some chicken. <laughs> and these cheeks, you know, everyone loves the pork cheek. The alligator cheek gets loved too, so oh. they're very nice cheeks. On Man, the they, they're looking tender. As well. Right. What's your favorite part? I like the legs the most. You like the legs? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna get this big guy onto the sheet tray there. Oh my gosh. Into our smoker. Okay. How long does that smoke for? 
We're gonna let them smoke for about four hours. Wow. They vary in size, and so that's gonna change your cook time. Mm -hmm. So do people have to order this ahead of time, or? Yeah, so mm. people order them about five days in advance. Oh, okay, so this is special. Special, special. All right. All right, well, you make yourself comfortable. I'm okay. about to take our seasoned gator on outside to the smoker. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, greet my homegirl, Leah, who's here, and uh, not tell her what we about to eat. There you go, surprise, surprise. Sounds good. All right. All right. Eat you later, alligator. What up? Uh, how are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. I'm glad you could make it. I'm scared. Are you? I feel like I need a bottle of wine before we start. Oh, like, well, what, two a, bottles of what wine. a coincidence. I got some wine right here for you, and this is your wine. Capo Cagna. Capo Cagna. Means boss bitch. Boss bitch. Yes. Oh, what's that named after? Me. Oh, well, damn. Yeah. I knew that. Well, cheers. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Ooh, that's good. Are you getting hints of um, um, uh, oak and pear? And, um, and uh, a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, I hope you're hungry. I'm starving, but I'm scared. Don't be scared. Well, are you a picky eater? Well, okay, so my boyfriend will tell you that I'm a picky eater. Oh, but okay. I feel like I'm pretty open. Like, most of the time I have to eat healthy because of my job and yada, yada, yada. Right, because you are a WWE superstar. Yes. I'm adventurous. Like, I'll try anything once. All right, well, that's good. Because that's what this is all about. Yeah. This show is all about, you know, going outside your comfort zone. Sure. Maybe uh, trying out something interesting from a different culture or a different part of the world. And, you know, we got a few little appetizers we're going to bring out okay. before I bring out the main event. The main event. The like title that. match. Okay. WrestleMania. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. So there's two rounds. There's two rounds. Oh, yes. Gosh. Okay. You ready for this? Um, no. <laughs> yes. You got this. No. Okay. You're a WWE I'm ready. superstar. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. That's so much That's food. That's a lot of food. It Chef is a lot of food. Brian Jupiter. Hook Hello. It up. How are you Jupiter. doing? This looks. So, what do we have here? All Chef? right. So, this is all part of the feast. Uh huh. Uh, some mac and cheese here, some mixed seasonal vegetables, and then we have our seasoned salad with polenta croutons. Okay. And a little bit of uh, jambalaya to show the New Orleans roots. Do yeah. you have any food for him? This is all <laughs> for him. We, we, we got him a little to-go box. Okay, perfect, so, yeah, yeah. We'll bring that out a little later. Well, you all get started. I'm gonna go get the main feast. Cool. And, uh, Does that have bugs in it? <laughs> Shh, don't tell, tell her anything. Anything. I can't tell you anything. It's sworn a secrecy. Okay. <laughs> All right, All right, you thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. All right, see, so I told you it's nothing yeah, crazy. Yeah, this, I can, I can mess with this. Yeah, yeah like, like I don't even know where to start. So what would you say is the most unique, adventurous thing you've ever eaten? It sounds stupid. Chicken. Everyone loves chicken, right? I know I need a chicken, but the way they served it yeah. was basically a chicken on a platter yeah. that they just cut up. Like the head was still oh, on yeah. it, everything. Like the chicken head was on it's the just, plate. It's just the head on there that throws you off. It threw me off. And yeah. like I eat chicken all the time, but right. seeing it like that, I was like, oh no. Like, yeah, you nope. know, seeing the head on things will throw you off a little totally, bit. Totally, like the eyes are so in it. I'm like, <laughs> how am I supposed to eat this? I'm looking into his eyeballs right now. So you are Italian, but you spent a lot of time in Florida, right? I lived in Florida for six years. For six years, yeah. okay, down south. Down south. So there's that whole debate, whether y'all call the pasta sauce or gravy. So my family always called it gravy. Like mm. growing up, it was always gravy. But so I looked it up and I've done a lot of research on this. Apparently gravy is if you have meat in the sauce. What? And then <laughs> sauce is like just like the sauce with the pasta. And this is an Italian thing? It's an Italian thing. Word. Apparently. I learned something new today. You're welcome. Is there anything you would never eat? I mean, we're talking about bugs here. I'm not saying I'm gonna go out and get like eat a grasshopper. <laughs> Did nobody dinner, say nothing about bugs? <laughs> are there bugs? Someone tell me if there's bugs in this mac and cheese because <laughs> if they are, they just really good. No, no I'm bad. open. I'm really, I'm open to trying something. And uh, I hate when people are like, oh, I don't like that. It's like, well, have you tried it? Exactly. Because how are you gonna know if you like it or not? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? The, the the main course kind of takes up some room, so I'm I'm gonna clear these plates takes up some if room. you don't mind. And um, do you need help? I can help. No, it's okay. You're sure? a superstar. You you sit tight. Stop saying that. You are a WWE superstar. superstar. I will clear this, all right? Where am I putting this? All right. Now it's time for the main event. Main event. This is what I've been waiting for. This is this WrestleMania is what, right here. This is WrestleMania. <laughs> Tensions are high. The crowd is, what the? <laughs> Wait, 
You ain't even seen the head yet. That is not an alligator. <laughs> oh. Is that a, what is that? But it is. It has a head. Yes. Wow. What's in his mouth? A little chicken. A little, ch <laughs> little chicken. <laughs> Where did it come from? The swamp. <laughs> For real? Tell us about this alligator. Yeah, so we cook whole alligators here. We Clearly. smoke them. And so this guy is stuffed with a little chicken uh, in the middle. So uh, what do we, we just, we just yeah, cut into it? Yeah, how do you eat this? Yeah, I'm gonna grab, let me grab some gloves. I'm dying hand. right now. Yeah. We like to start with the legs, because uh, they come off just very easily. Oh, OK. So we got to finish this whole thing, all right? You got to eat the whole <laughs> thing. That's the rules. If you want to win a t-shirt. <laughs> Oh, it's like a wing. Just like a wing. And now the, the bulk of the meat comes from the tail. Woo! Looks like a Disneyland turkey leg. <laughs> so each tail has like four loins. You said loins? Tail. Yeah, it looks like it looks like pork loins. You'll see. Oh, oh, okay. So we have four of these guys wow. on each one. When you're dealing with the wild animals, you don't really have the controls over diet and things right. like that. So you don't have no like wagyu alligators. <laughs> no, <laughs> no wagyu alligators. Only... <laughs> Look, not, not yet at least. <laughs> inside you'll see some smoked chicken that we have inside. Oh. Now I know chicken that. is a little crazy for you. It's <laughs> <laughs> the craziest thing but... I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the surprise. This is yeah, chicken. Yeah, yeah, Alligator, yeah. whatever. Chicken, <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> My mind's blown. All right, y'all Thank enjoy. you so much. Thank you all. Um, so he said start off here. Yeah, I'm gonna, gra I'm gonna yeah, grab I'm me a little leg. egg here. Cheers. All right, that's a lot of meat. Hmm. Mm. You know what? Okay. I'm into it. That tastes like a, um, a rib. Yes. Like the parts of the rib that are super close to the bone, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna close my eyes, pretend I'm not eating an alligator. <laughs> the seasoning's bomb. The seasoning is so good, like the flavors. Mm-hmm. Like a little but spicy. So. I really want to try the other these lean pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. This looks like squid. I'm gonna try me a, a, a fatty piece. That's fire. Okay, this is good. That is so good. It's weird. I feel like I'm eating fish slash meat. Like. That's what that's what they say. Right? Like it tastes like um. Like am I eating octopus or am I eating a chicken? Yeah, because it looks, when he cut it up, right, it looked like some grilled octopus. It does, because it almost looks slimy, but it doesn't taste slimy. Beefy chicken. Like a turducken, but <laughs> not. It's a it's a beef squid skin. <laughs> beef squid skin. Beef squid skin is what that is. Yeah, that's actually Damn. really good. Wow. I like the fatty piece, actually. Yo, try fatty piece. Yeah, I'm gonna piece. try fatty yeah, piece. Yeah. A little more like. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously that's better. Damn. <sighs> this is bomb. Alligator. I feel like if they don't serve it with the head, people will be down with it. For sure, I think that will throw people off. But I mean, you like serve the, the head, head with anything, and it'll throw them off. Chicken. <laughs> like Hello. Chicken. Oh, that's speaking of which. Oh yeah, we chicken. have to try the chicken. Mm-hmm. Is it good? It is good. But I'll tell you what, trying it after the alligator, I think I like the alligator better. I'm down with the fatty alligator. Mm -hmm. Like that fatty piece was. Mm -hmm. So is this better or worse than what you thought it was going to be? Seeing the whole thing on display threw me off for sure. Mm -hmm. But I was open. You know what? This gator really uh, has some bite to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think this alligator had a name? Shirley. Maybe Shirley. Aww, <laughs> like Shirley Temple. Aww. Look at this. I like mean, Shirley Temple. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Shirls, I call her. Shirls. Oh, <laughs> Shirley. Kiss. Oh. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I feel bad. You know? I'm also creeped out. Did you enjoy your alligator experience? I actually really did. Shirley was delicious. Uh huh. And um, I don't regret it at all. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your experience. I did. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes things might be a little weird, a little scary, but just try it out. Try it out. And then you learn that you love it. You opened my eyes. Like, I, for sure, first when I saw it, I was like, what the? But you try it, it's good. It's amazing. You have to, like, be open-minded to it, so. All you gotta do is be open-minded. Yeah. Try it out one time, because you never know what you're gonna like or not like. Exactly. You know? Don't judge. Don't judge. Yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Acquired taste, b****. <laughs>
Y'all gotta try some of this. Oh it's actually really good. Hey y'all, thanks for watching, and if y'all want to check out another dope thriller show, you need to check out my boy Marlon Webb's show called Nuke With Me because it has me cracking up. Apparently there's a whole bunch of food that you can cook in the microwave and it's still fire. You ever try cooking steak in the microwave? I haven't, but apparently it's tasty. Check it out every Tuesday on Thrillist.